Well, if you get a visit from one moth one time, you might as well gotten a visit from a hundred moths a hundred times. Because I just pulled a vine borer out of one of my pumpkins. Thankfully, it's not large and it didn't get far. I also sprayed that Captain Jack's dead bug brew, the kind you mix in the gallon with the tablespoon. I sprayed this and I sprayed the plants. So same as last year, I'm gonna put this aside for a couple days and see if it kills them. So I'm gonna leave them in here. I'm gonna spray them again and I'm gonna give them some munchies, a little bit left over from some of the old leaves I pulled off pumpkins today. I'm gonna give him some of those. I'm gonna spray those too. We'll come back tomorrow and see if he's dead yet or if he's still eating away and kicking. And we'll see if it kills him quicker than BT does. BT takes a couple of days or so. This stuff, maybe it's about the same. It kills them a little differently. BT basically destroys their digestive system so they can't eat. This paralyzes their nervous system so they can't eat. Either way, I like the fact that they can't eat. Just trying to see which one works faster and more efficiently. So here we are several hours later. Does our vine borer look like he's moving? Doesn't look like it to me. He hasn't moved very much since earlier. We'll see where he's at tomorrow. So here's the vine borer the next morning. He has not moved one bit since the last video. We're gonna declare it total victory over the squash vine borer. And it seemed to work in a matter of hours, whereas BT takes a couple days. So I would definitely have to say that Captain Jack's dead bug brew works faster. I would probably continue using this over BT.